Alrighty, so we have an unboxing video. Gotham Steel 20 piece set. Put on. I got a little ding here. I don't know how that happened. That wasn't me. It wasn't me. Ooh. Big box inside of a big box. Fancy schmancy. Oops. There you go. Look how awesome that is. Alright. Now I need to get this box out. So give me a second. Okay. Well, that took forever because the box refused to come out of the other box. But this is a non-stick aluminum cookware and bakeware set. This box is excessively heavy. Um, it should have a 10-piece cookware set. A four piece deep square pan set, a five piece bakeware set, and a one piece uh, nine and a half inch square frying pan. And I don't know what the weight is on this thing, but I can't lift the box myself, um, which is why it's on this chair right now. It's driving me crazy here. Oh my goodness. Getting this out is going to be very complicated. So, start at the top, start at the bottom. Whatever comes out first, I suppose. There we go. So we have a 12-piece, or a 12-muffin tin. Look at the coating on that. It's very shiny. And my kitchen is an absolute disaster right now. But when is it never? When is it never? Alright, so this is... Each of these pieces do have quite a bit of weight to them. Come off. People are waiting. It's like undressing a toddler, I swear. That has a good lip on it there. An inch and a half or so. It's weird how it's stamped backwards or whatever. On the back. So it comes out that way, I guess. pen. It takes up like my whole stove. Focus. Next. I have to go to the top now. <laughs> all right, that's all like the warranty stuff. Online information. So, lid has metal um, and nothing like rubber or plastic or anything that would disperse the heat better. So I'm definitely going to have to pick this up with um, some sort of gloves or something. Lid over here. I think these are the same size. Yes, looks like the same size. And then I've got a square lid. Same. Same size, just square. Move stuff out of my way. I don't have enough sufficient space today. Alright, and a little lid, like a sauce pot lid. This will be the fry basket. I'm going to have to look and see what these are for. That's 
Oops, not like that. That's my fry basket. Very cool. It's got little feet on it. It's one of the big square pans. This is the big one that's, um, this one, I think, the deep square pan. Yeah. This one's for, like, deep frying and stuff like that, specifically. That looks really cool. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm sure that these go with it. I'm guessing like feet of some sort. Let me see if I can find is there anything that explains it. No, of course not. That would just be too easy. But this goes with it. And that goes like that. So when you're draining it out of the oil, it goes like that. It hooks onto it. Looks very, very cool. I'm gonna put that right there. All right, next. Some baking pans. This one is a loaf pan. It looks like a double wide kind of loaf pan. That's pretty wide. I like that. All right, and a square pan. Doing all of this one-handed, by the way. You're welcome for the entertainment. <laughs> These all have weight to them. I mean, they're not like abundantly heavy, but they are, they have some weight to them. Fits in there like that. I'm assuming this is like an eight by eight, so that would be eight long. I'm assuming like four and a half, four wide, maybe. Eight by four. All right, let's get to the nitty gritty here. Oh, there's a baking pan in there, around them. They're sneaky. This is a steaming pot. I'm throwing boxes and paper everywhere. That's a steaming pot. You put boiling water in the pot under it and it steams. You can have like veggies or like crab and stuff like that. That's another lid. It's a little bit bigger than that one. So I'm going to assume this is the steaming pot itself, which can double as a big old soup pot, which is usually what I do. Ooh, that's a heavy little pot. I like that it's got the, uh, very shiny. Induction rings and that. And then you would take like one of these big lids like that. And you steam. Very, very cool. So what I've got out so far. I still have stuff in here. <laughs> So we have a little sauce pot and a big sauce pot. I'm not very fond of the gray or whatever it is, but it's really all they had. Get off 
me. He like sat on my shoulder. Right, so, the bigger sauce pot, the smaller sauce pot. Both very, very nice sizes. I'm going to assume that's these two lids here. One of these, this square one is probably for the that pot instead of this one, because this one you probably wouldn't want to put a lid on. Go in there. No, you want to. So the square pan is nine and a half inches. I'm gonna put that up against the baking dish. Okay, so that's probably a nine by nine then. If that's nine and a half inches, that's probably a nine by nine. Which would make that a lot bigger than I thought it was. That's a lot of bread. Come off. to move. All right, so that does not fit on there. It fits on there. Weird. I wonder why. All right, so little frying pan. So much stuff. All right, so this one has a little sticker on it. Please remove before use. Designed for cooking with or without oil or butter. Do not use nonstick sprays. Focus. Always cook on low to medium heat. Dishwasher safe. Long life hand washing is recommended. When cleaning, do not use a metal scour pads. Best to clean with nylon or hemp fibered sponge. Um, I wash with a fibered sponge. It's a little bit smaller than a round baking dish. And this is the larger frying pan and the last item I believe that's in this box. So I can put all the other stuff back in the box to throw out. And this is Bigger than the round baking pan. Now I wonder with these. Yeah, the big one fits there. Would the medium fit? Smaller pan? Nope. But the big round one fits the big pan. So the smaller pan and the square pan do not have a lid that would fit it. <laughs> do I have space? There we have it. My Gotham Steel Cookware Set. Crazy. Okay, so the little leg thingies, they do go on here. Um, and this is called a steamer tray, apparently. So, ooh, I don't like the metal on metal sound. Um, so the 10 piece cookware set is an eight and a half inch frying pan, a 10 and a quarter frying pan with a lid. That's the two round ones. A 1.5 quart pot with a lid and a 2.5 quart pot with a lid as well as a 5 quart pot with a lid. That's the big ones. And stainless st steel steamer insert. That's this thing. The four piece deep square pan set is nine and a half inch deep square pan with a nine and a half lid, a deep fry basket and a steamer tray. 
And there's that. A one piece, nine and a half square frying pan. That's the really big one. And a five piece bakeware set. Square baking pan is a nine and a half by nine and a half by two. So it's two inches tall. The muffin pan is 13.7 by 10 by one. The round baking pan is nine and a half. The loaf pan is 9.7 by 5.7 and it is 2.8 inches tall. And the cookie tray is 17.7 by 12.7 by one inch lip. Wow, wow, wow. And it says for best performance, designed to cook without oil or butter, use on low to medium heat, do not use non-stick sprays, no sharp objects of any type used inside or outside of the cookware or bakeware, Gotham steel cookware or bakeware is safe up to 500 degrees, warning, use pot holders, mittens to avoid risk of burns, careful cleaning, soap and water, dishwasher safe, shine may be discolored due to certain elements and detergents, hand washing is recommended, and basically um, excess temperatures can discolor the cookware um, and cause issues. So uh, turn off the heat, allow it to cool naturally kind of thing. All of that. So there's my, my awesome Gotham Steel nonstick aluminum cookware bakeware set. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. I really appreciate it. And I hope you had a awesome holiday season and are getting the new year kicked off very well. We're still getting Christmas gifts in late um, via mail, but that's okay. We are very patient and we are looking forward to seeing some very awesome things and recording them for you so you guys can see them too. And hopefully this helps me in um, future cooking endeavors uh, and not having so many issues with my old pots and pans that are years and years and years old and discolored and worn and scratched and all sorts of stuff. So I think they look fabulous and I'm excited to test them out tomorrow. <laughs> so bye everybody. Thank you. Tell me, tell me, tell me pretty lies